So I'm out here in the chicken run and Ashley just showed me something that was really weird. Check this out. For some reason, the whole corner of our chicken run is just smashed in. This isn't just a broken post, but something actually pushed it in and bent the fence all up. No idea how that could have happened. I have no idea. Ashley's been weeding, cleaning up some of this tall bushes and grass in here. Something must have physically smashed into this to bend this fence all up like that. Yeah. How weird. I mean, look at this. This is broken. Mm-hmm. It's like I was making my way around weeding and then I got literally right here and then I noticed it. Hmm. Like right next to it. This is weird. This whole fence was pushed down. It was either a deer or I have no idea. Chickens are all okay? Yep. It's like some maniac. Tried... Drilled through. <laughs> yeah, just... <laughs> just lurched themselves onto uh, it. Tried climbing over the fence. And these are all so weak, they just... Yeah, these fence posts aren't so good. You can see they're... There's only one or, like... They're broken. Only a few are actually doing anything. Okay, we were interrupted by a rainstorm that came out of nowhere. We've been seeing those more frequently lately. It's good for the gardens, so we're happy about that. But, I got some work to do. It stopped raining, so we got one job I gotta take care of. Alright, so... We have this thing. Let me put it this way, I guess. This has been sitting on our property since we moved in. We found it hidden under the snow. We didn't know what it was when we found it, but we figured it out. Can anybody guess what this is? Well, it's actually an auger from a uh, piece of farm equipment, basically like a, boy, I don't know what it's called, but a, it's a grain combine or something. And this would sit in the bottom and turn to send the grain out the chute or wherever it goes. So anyway, the point is it's been in the way. We should have recycled it when we had the chance, but we forgot to. Ashley wants me to take care of it. She doesn't like it sitting on the ground because she can't mow. So, I'm gonna find a home for this today. So this might be weird, but we're gonna dig a hole. And we're gonna put it in the hole. And we're gonna make some uh, chicken yard art out of it. See how that's gonna look. That might be enough. So 
So basically, when you live in the country and you have junk on your property that you don't know what to do with, you just call it art. <laughs> yeah. We have some sophisticated chickens and they're going to really enjoy this art display. They have this. They have the wagon wheel. That's a popular one. And over here, we have the rock. And the perch. Yep. It feels okay. It needs to be tamped in a little. It'll settle with time. It's all sand. I don't think this the chickens will knock it over. Yeah. This is cool. Because we didn't know what to do with this thing. Mm -hmm. We were just going to like let somebody take it for scrap metal and this yeah. is better. And we don't mow in here so it's not going to be in the way. Yeah. Ashley was saying that it would be really cool to have a climbing... Like a clematis going up it. Not in here because the chickens would eat it probably but <laughs> somewhere else. Now it's getting late but I want to show you guys one more thing that we've been working on. We've been digging out our foundation, getting it ready to clean so that we can paint it. This is a job that we're not looking forward to. It's a pain. We hate digging. We hate cleaning. But you can see it's pretty nasty down here, so we're going to get that painted up. And we're just digging the dirt away, getting it ready. All the way around. Doing over here. Working our way. Should be done soon. So we're still making progress, even though we didn't get a lot done to share today. We did pick up the paint we needed for the foundation. We actually found a masonry stucco paint, mm -hmm. I think it was called. And the guy at the store told me that's, what's, that's what I should use. So I went ahead and got it. It should work fine. So there's one more thing that we had a request to show, and that was the first lighting of our wood stove. And believe it or not, we had a cool day the other day, and we thought it was the perfect day to test out our wood stove. So they tell you when you light your wood stove for the first time to open the windows, uh, it has a finish on it. It's like the, the whole surface of the stove is black, but it's not just the iron. It actually has like a paint coating and that has to cure. Yeah, it's good to light it up during the warm weather when you can open up everything and let it air out. Lighting it for the first time was a little smoky. We were mm -hmm. getting used to the system, but after that it was totally fine. It worked awesome and it heated the room up so well. Yeah, I think we got it up to like 84-ish. Not cold enough. I don't know if these will work, but I'll just grab some small ones. I know, I see smoke coming out. They say to leave the door open, but... It gets really funny, and then it comes. Oh, is it not amazing? How long have I had to look? Uh -huh. Is it amazing? Mm -hmm. Yeah. We have a fire. Uh -huh. Not so close. It's going to go in your nose. Okay. Not so close. You is a true coach. Okay, gonna back up a little. We weren't burning it like super crazy. We were just burning some small logs, getting that finished, heated up. So everything went fine with the wood stove. That was fun. Everybody enjoyed it. We enjoyed having a nice toasty house, even though it's August. And we actually lit it up the next day too. Yeah, we yeah. had a few cold days. 
So everything was perfect with the wood stove. Um, it works great, happy with that. The installation was a success, I would say. So now we just wanna leave you guys with a fun little family adventure that we went on together. We thought we'd share it with you guys. Some grass is it on that wall. Some grass? Oh, yeah, I see it. Put a boot not wide. And some grass on it. You can come down and lay. You want to climb down there? Uh -huh. Okay, we might be able to. Come. I'm going to come on the mountain. The way I will be, I can and do it. Not fighting the war war. Ooh. Could we bring that home? Is it slimy? Nah. Just shiny? Yeah. Oh, give him me it. Neat. Some. Huh? Might be better to leave it here in the forest so and it can live. Some yeah. Some and just we'll look it up and see what it is. Throw it yeah. off to the side so nobody steps on it. A mushroom. Yeah. A mushroom on a tree. Cool. <laughs> we have to get to keep these. Here, let's leave it alone. Up. A hollow log.
So we didn't get too much footage of that, but we had a fun time. The kids love playing in the water and walking in the woods and seeing everything that there is. Just a fun adventure. Sometimes you got to take a break from the home renovation and just have some fun, get the mind off things and get refreshed for the next project, which is siding and foundation and all that stuff. So we appreciate you guys joining us today, coming along. We'll be back soon with another video. And until next time, take care. Bye.